economic development, and I'm here to talk about an odd project in San Juan, Idaho. Uh, you wouldn't think a dog and a baguette, a uh, used clothing store, and a bunch of old users would have anything in common, but in Salmon, they do. Um, it starts with the Animal Shelter and the Humane Society. It's been around since 1976. It's essentially a no-kill shelter. They see about uh, 450 animals a year. Uh, they have uh, the Rags and Wags thrift store, which gets them about 90% of their funding. And it's relatively inexpensive to operate, but the maintenance of the building was becoming expensive, so they started looking around for another building. And in Salmon, it can be pretty expensive. So they found this building on Main Street. It's the Oddfellas building. It had become an eyesore in the town. It's pretty run down, as you can see. And uh, the building was built in about 1902 by the Oddfellows. They would come down from Leesburg on the weekend. It's a mining community. And um, so they, they went to the Oddfellows and offered to uh, rent the bottom floor of the building but they quickly realized that they needed to purchase the building to do the repairs uh, that needed to be done. So they didn't have a lot of money, so they were like, well, what are we gonna do? So they offered um, $75,000 for the building and said, we can pay you $250 a month for 25 years, no interest. And the odd fellow said, okay. <laughs> but we need to use the building. They hadn't been able to use it in years. So the Humane Society got the building up and running really quickly, got the heat on for them. And the other thing the Odd Fellows wanted was uh, an, an agreement that the Humane Society would never allow the building to be sold for strictly commercial purposes. It, they wanted it to be a community asset. So the agreement was made. Um, they put it in writing. The, uh, the two parties got together, signed an agreement, and no attorneys were used in this agreement. So, so on a cold December day, minus four, Rags and Wags had a ribbon cutting ceremony and um, that's their new home. And so the Rags and Wags takes up two thirds of the bottom floor and so they were trying to figure out what to do with the other piece of the building. And uh, there was a guy in town, um, he was kind of a river rat, his family owned a, a rat, rafting company in town. And, he had learned to bake bread and had been working at the farmer's market selling bread, had quite a clientele, but could never afford to open his business in Salmon because, again, it's pretty expensive for a startup business. He had moved to California. Humane Society called him, begged him to come back so he could give you free rent, so just come back and start your bakery. So he did, and uh, again, signed an agreement with the guy that he's got free rent for a year. He can do whatever he needed to get the space up and running. And then after a year, he rents the space for $250 a month. And again, no attorneys were in that agreement. They did it with a handshake. So uh, he put it in a wood fire. Rick Oven makes bread every day. He employs people. Uh, it's a great place on Wednesdays. They do pizza now in the evening. It's, they line up for pizza. Spent about a year kind of getting their business going. Uh, after a year, they shut down for a month to expand, and now they serve lunch, sandwiches, and soups and salads, and they are doing a great job. Um, the other thing, the benefit to the community is that it's a great place for younger people to hang out now, and the benefit we're seeing from that is those people are now running for public office and getting involved in the community and on projects like the kayak park. One of the things that the Oddfellows had wanted to see was that a new facade put on the front of the building to restore it. So they hired an architect, the Humane Society hired an architect, got the renderings done, found old pictures, raised money, and in April, construction began on the front of the building. And as you can see, they've done a lot of work putting windows, all kinds of things. Um, the only thing that's left to be done, as the pictures go forward, is the uh, awnings. And so it's been just a great project. Um, so it, it's just a real testament to what can do, be done in the community with just a handshake and uh, people working together. And you know, everybody's happy. You know, community's fat and happy with the pastries. Um, and even the animals are happy. These are people who work in the, the, uh, the bakery and they adopted the dog from the Humane Society. So it's just a great story. Thank you.